Okay, a little intro here. I uh, went out today and uh, purposely went out and I did not have a map. It's in an area I was somewhat familiar with, but I had not been on this particular quadrant, so to speak. So I got turned around a little bit. I uh, need to take the, the compass readings and, and write them down um, and about how long you're going in a, in a general direction. Uh, took the Big Bear 82 liter pack with 38 pounds, full winter overnight kit. Glad I didn't have the polk sled. I mean, there is enough snow anyhow, but I uh, ended up doing quite a bit of bushwhacking. Dog did well. Uh, she wants to go under the deadfalls and under the branches, and I, of course, uh, go over them. So that's, that was interesting. Trekking poles are, are almost useless in that kind of environment. When you're off a trail, even if you're in a field, you know, they hang up in all kinds of stuff, the grass and the trees. But anyhow, I made it. Had a great time. I uh, did forget to drink and keep hydrated, you know, you just get concentrated on your situation and didn't really take time to relax and, and uh, you know, make sure I was hydrated, but had a good time. Thanks for watching. Okay, so I'm purposely following this little game trail, deer trail I imagine, coming up to these little hidden meadows I'll call them, swampy areas, where are all enclosed by trees, basically, no trail. Right through there is a little trail. Uh, definitely not a place you want to wear your $200 rain jacket. All kinds of stuff through there. Uh, dog's on a leash, so got to navigate to deadfalls. That's kind of interesting. Got wool pants on, wool sweater, fingerless gloves. Working out good. Pack's okay. Um, the thermo rest is covered by a, by a nylon cover, so uh, that should be okay. Now, yeah, this will be, again, nice place to set up for a little lunch. That trail take time for that. I got a few things to do today. I want to be out here about two hours. Uh, one thing is you're not going to make uh, three miles an hour in this kind of terrain, that's for sure. It's kind of slow going. But because it's winter, not really having to bushwhack either. Just uh, navigate around thorns and so on and so forth. Okay. Okay, so what I've done here is follow this game trail and, you know, a bunch of other trails. Kind of meandered all over the place and, of course, uh, ends up at a cornfield, farmer's field, which makes sense, I guess. And uh, there's some corn on the cob. Well, a cob, no corn. Presumably the animals have gotten it. I've uh, kept track of my direction a little bit, but not much. To be honest, if I hadn't taken a compass direction, I'd take my back trail, which is, uh, of course, I've only been out about an hour, so it's no big deal. Uh, Again, I'm not going to get lost. Pretty bounded by roads here every, you know, three miles. I can road and can follow that back. I know the area a little bit. Never been in this area. Uh, I saw off to the distance there um, a blaze trail, the Ice Age Trail. So I'm familiar with that. And uh, what I'm going to do now is just head back and instead of following my back trail, I'm just going to use my back bearing and see how that goes. Again, this is pretty open because it's uh, winter and the fields are uh, you know nice and good to trudge through so I'm gonna use my back bearing which is east southeast and see how that works all right so I got a little dilemma here nothing major got a little crick to cross which I didn't cross on the way here so again haven't been out that long I could have been on the other side of it paralleling it I might have to cross this again could have dried out it's running pretty good here but what I gotta do is, of course, it's cold. It's about a foot deep. I don't want to get wet. I can cross right there, but the dog's not gonna be able to cross there. I got my pack on, so I'm gonna have to whack through this buckthorn a little bit, cross that log, and you know let her kind of cross in the shallow area. Uh, she'll be fine. She's uh, young, so she doesn't like the water too much, but uh, we'll be okay. All right. Interesting. Again, I'm just following my, uh, not my back trail, my back bearing. Okay, talk to you later. Okay, so we made her across. She actually followed across on that little log. Uh, it's difficult with the pack and the dog and everything on here. Uh, I made it. My boots got a little wet, but they're waterproof. Should be good. All right, just going to keep going here. It'll be interesting to see if I have to cross this thing again or what. Out. All right, I presume this is some kind of a fish farm here. That's why I've come across, that's why I came across that creek. It's all runoff. So we'll go around it, see how we do. <laughs> Very interesting. All right, made it back to the road. Had to whack through that stuff. Oh man, nasty, nasty. 
I'm in generally the right direction, but I aimed off. I'm too far uh, south, so I'm gonna have to go back up north a little bit on the road or find a trail. There's private lands around here, so it's hard. But we got through it with some nasty stuff. I mean, I was down on my hands and knees in the mud, which is fine. That's what you do. All right. Okay, I wanted to give a follow-up on this trip today. I uh, went out purposely without a map. Uh, again, this is a uh, state lands, but bordered by the state lands are our fa farmlands, and of course, uh, you know, creeping up on the farmlands are our uh, residential housing now. So I made a couple of mistakes. One is I took my back reading or my back azimuth, and I took it too general. Um, you know, I just looked at it and said, well, you know, I'm heading west, my back reading is east, which was in general right, correctly, uh, I did that correctly, but um, what I didn't do was when I took a major turn and kept on that track for a while, so I headed north for, you know, probably half a mile, I didn't really compensate for the pa fact that my back reading would um, have to compensate for heading north. So when I headed uh, back east, I went uh, overshot my bearing. I should have been heading southeast, which I kind of had a feeling I was doing. Uh, the other thing is there was not a lot of landmarks because it's just farm field and woods and swamps and it wasn't that large of an area, probably three miles by three miles, so nine square miles. Again, we're bordered in pretty much by by roads every every three miles or two miles, maybe even less, four square miles. Uh, th but there was a transmission line and I could have used that as a guide to get back to. And I noticed that when I got back to the car. Um, other than that, it, it worked okay, but uh, a lot of bushwhacking, going through swamps, trying to stay off of private property. Um, you know, farm fields I'm not too worried about, but when I was coming back, I heard uh, some people in chainsaw using a chainsaw and kids, and I just didn't want to run across people on their uh, back 40, so to speak. And uh, it wasn't clear in Lamarck where the state land was and the private land. Again, no trails, just game trails. So uh, it was interesting. Uh, just figure I'd add that.